Right folks, I've just got through the style. Don't forget this has been videoed many, many times. There's a car coming up the hill. I'm just leaving the style. Crossing the road to over to Draycott Slights. Where there is another plaque on the wall. And sometimes they have little leaflets in there. But they all look a bit dodgy now. Draycott Slights, welcome. It's a nature reserve. 50 acres. 100, well, 125 acres, 50 hectares. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> of course, everything's asleep this time of year. If you know what I mean, everything's asleep. And when I'm feeling fit, I go up there and I climb up around the top. Which I'm not doing today, although I've got time to do it today. Today's more of a recce day. Because I've got a much bigger walk to do as soon as it gets a little bit lighter. And I will be getting the later bus. The one just after six. I need, the, I need all those hours. Um, I need all those hours when I do the... Uh, Westbury sub Mendip walk. I will need all those hours. I just saw a woman a minute ago and she was walking close to the avenue of trees but she was walking in front of them. I've never done that. I wonder whether I will show today. Yeah, it's funny that one huge... must be a bull. I just love being over here. You know, I feel so happy to be here. And it's very likely there are cows out on the, on here and another stretch, a couple of stretches I've got to do. Um, but it's a walk I want to do anyway and I can't do this particular walk if I do this side and even if I do the other side once the, the cows are out. Um, I'm very restricted then what I can do because I will not if I can well, obviously sometimes you can't help being confronted by them see what I mean but look it's, I've walked through here when it's been a thick quagmire and I've had to try and balance avoiding the brambles I've climbed up that way before gone through the gate there climbed up the top I think it might have been a bush I saw, but it could have been a black cow. Now, I don't know whether just to carry on, but the girl I saw was walking in front of the trees. But I don't know, I might just stay here. I am going to explore one day the other walk up from the town, from the village of Draycott. And I've stood on top of there before. Like I said, if you go on YouTube, you can find my videos over a good 10 to 14 years. I videoed. I, I keep saying to myself, oh, I'm not going to bother video and taking photos this year. But it's different year. Every year is different. Every year is different. And I do like walking here on this track. I can, this is a drove. And um, you can just imagine farmers and pilgrims, because this is the West Mendip Way, don't forget. It's a pilgrim route to Wells. And if you believe in the legend of Jesus, Joseph of Arimathea, that stone will have significance, by the way. That stone there. But if you believe in that legend, that he came from the sea. Some people say he landed at uh, Western Supermare or Burnham or somewhere along there. Nobody really knows. But then they made their way cross-country along this route. There would be many other routes they would have gone, but apparently the West Mendip Way 
was a well used trading route. And Joseph of Arimathea wasn't just a carpenter, he was also a trader. And this place was during the Roman times, don't forget, before the Romans, before the Romans really took over, people were still coming here, trading. The Romans loved it here, that's why they came here. So that story could be very true. But I suppose it's a legend, so nobody really knows. But it's a nice thought, isn't it? But this is a beautiful scene up here, look. Look out there. I'm going to take a stop and take a picture, but look out there, folks. I'll just go out before I turn off. Look at this, my Somerset levels. This is where the girl walked in front a minute ago. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? I'm very tempted to walk round. Like she did a minute ago, walk round. I haven't done it before. Why don't you do it, Shell? You can climb back through, I expect. No, I don't, I don't know if I want to. Well, go a bit, go a bit. No, I might not be able to get through. Might be blocked off. Now you can be, get in through the, some of the trees still. Okay, well, I'll try it. Something different, isn't it? I don't want to miss the gate because there's a gate I have to get through in a minute. So I've never walked to this side. I usually keep to the path. Great, isn't it? Look at the views, everyone. Brent Knoll, Crook's Peak, Steep Home, Bring Down. Right in front of me, in the glistening sunshine, right in front of me, Glastonbury. But it won't come out. It's going to be very, very glary. Very glary. I'm going to walk up a little bit more, and I'm going to stop and take some photos. It's quite likely there are cows here. That does look quite fresh, doesn't it? It does look quite fresh. They do bring these cows in. I think the farmer brings these in for milking, you know. Crooks Creek right over there. Let's just zoom in. I'll be doing my annual walk over there. Probably both ways as well. I like to do it one way and then the other. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I love beautiful Somerset, everyone, that everyone loves. Sunny Somerset. A gorgeous place that we all love. That I love. I am a Somerset girl, born in Somerset. So I can claim to be Somerset, even though both my parents were from London. Both their parents from London. And then as we go back to the great grandparents, people come from different places like Portsmouth, Cambridgeshire and Suffolk, Kent. As we go back, they weren't always from London, but there will be some associated names in the tree that will be long Londoners. So little Robin just perched on a branch there. It, he's just come to say, hello Sheila, you come coming for a nice walk. There he goes. This is a place you can imagine, actually. I've never thought of it. But this is a place you could sit and have a picnic, innit? If you don't, you don't mind risking ticks. You could sit here. Imagine putting your blanket out. I've seen an artist here. Putting your blanket out here and just enjoying this. Gorgeous, isn't it, everyone? Absolutely gorgeous. Let me take some photos. Yeah, the farmer is out on his little Jeep thing. They know when Sheila's about. She say, oh, the one, two, six is all right. Sheila's about. Lovely view over to Brent Knoll there, look. 
I haven't done that for a couple of years. It's due for a due for a walk. Once again, they have cows in there. Nylon mound down there. I'm going to walk up to uh, where there's a drinking hole that's been repaired. It's got a special name. I can't think what I just call it. Drinking hole for the animals. A pan, I think it's called. A water pan or something like that. Now, I haven't seen a cow. I thought I saw a black cow earlier up the top, but it could have been a bush. could have been a bush that, like that one from a distance at dark and it could have looked like a cow. You think you think got lots of, you think you've got lots of time right and then suddenly you think right out it's two o'clock we'll get a battery soon. But it's um done the Draycott bit. It's got me to the slights. Then it plays up and we have to put the charger on. Now I don't think that's a glider, that's probably a learner plane, because I can hear an engine. But it could be, if it turns its engine off, it can become a glider. That's what I reckon it is. I reckon that's one that's got an engine, but can turn into a glider if it wants to. i got to go right in the field, right over there where those sheep are. I have to walk right across there. No sign of any cows at all at the moment. Um, but at the same time, there are lots of hoof prints. I've managed to avoid them quite a lot, this bunch up here. You can get around a corner and you'll see them all on the top. And they can move fast. Oh, here's the car. Should we go up to the car today? Here's the car now, look. Sometimes it's all smashed, smashed down. I'm going to go and put a stone on there today. <sighs> Do a stone. Don't know if I'll get on the top though. One thing, if say a big herd's like coming now, if you get up, if you can get onto one of the ledges on there, they won't try and get you there. Like, yeah, sheep and goats can, but uh, and you just have to wait for them to pass. But it's not much. This, the grass is very short, so what lovely scene there, everyone. My gorgeous Somerset. My beautiful Quantock Hills. Can't see the Mendips from here. But this is part of the Mendips. This section is still part of the Mendips, but then you've got the area of outstanding beauty much further over, over Row Barrow Way. But this is a branch of the Mendips. Right, we're going to the Khan. And we'll try and put a stone on as close to the top as we can. I've put one on before. What happens? They get knocked down. Right, let me just take very a close to the end of the battery now. But I've placed my con stone on there. The family and friends. That one right on the top with the point is mine. I've chosen a stone with a flat bottom. So it is quite stable, but it will be knocked down. People do. Someone might 